Oh, the dreaded paint chip. Never has one teeny tiny piece of paper given so many home decorators the blues. We're here with our resident paint expert and friend Roland Toms from Varsity Painting. Roland, why is it so hard to pick out a color for your room? Basically, too much choice can often be a bad thing. No kidding. And, uh, you know, when you've got this sitting in front of you, it's just uh, it's just intimidating. And so it's uh, very difficult. We often just leave this in the car when we go in to meet with homeowners and uh, instead try to actually work with them by asking them probing questions to find out what do they like as far as color. Is it a pillow? Is it a piece of art? Is it a piece of clothing? Inspiration pieces can save a lot of time, I'm sure. Exactly. And in this, in this case, uh, with this room, it was let's match a piece of clothing on a piece of artwork, which is the dress on that young lady there. Gotcha. So uh, when we came here, it was a total white walls. There were, it was a drab, very dreary, sterile feeling in here. And uh, the homeowners were new. Uh, they just bought the home and they said, we want it to be uh, alive and we want it to inspire because this is our kids' music room and it's our conversation room, being the living room. And so uh, we matched the, uh, the, the color of the red directly to the, the piece of art. Instant and coordination. Exactly. So they knew they already loved the color, so it worked. Uh, it took multiple layers of paint. Um, and, uh, but, uh, but frankly, it was an inexpensive way to take this from, you know, basically a room that was nothing to something that's a real conversation starter. And frankly, I think the piece of, the room itself is kind of like a piece of artwork. Absolutely. The red really pops it. It makes all the architectural details stand out. And I do believe there's a myth out there that you can't paint a room a bright color without making it feel closed in. And this room is proof that that's not true at all. Yeah, I really, I don't. I don't really buy that. I mean, you know, granted, it's uh, it, it can be a concern, but frankly, uh, you know, you, you go with a bright color that you love, you're gonna love it. So tell us what we can do if maybe we're too afraid to just go ahead and paint a room red. Is there a way you can get started, get an idea of what a color is gonna look like? Yeah, on the inside of your home, uh, there's nothing better than actually just putting the paint up on on the uh, home itself or on the walls. So go Buy to your quart. go to your local paint store, get get a quart, get uh, some samples, put them up on the walls. Or if you don't want to go to that step, you can put them up on poster board and sure. you see it under the different lights of the day. Live so with you can, it. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're going to be with us for the next few weeks doing a series on color, and I'm very excited to hear what's coming up next. Can you give us a little tease? Uh, I think next time we're going to be doing the Southwest theme, and then after that we'll get in some Venetian plaster and how that really warms up a home. Well, I'm excited to see that. Nobody's going to want to miss that. Thanks so much, Rowan. I think you're we've welcome. got a good start on our color series. Sounds good. Thanks.